Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Darkest Dungeon. So, I decided to build the Cartographer's Camp, which will give us more benefits from Torchlight. And that will cost us 300 crests. That is a lot of crests. Hopefully it will be worth it. So there we go. And our next run is going to be a long level 5 Warrens run, because I still want the Ancestors pen. And it's available right here. Here's our group, we got a Flagellant, a Houndmaster, a Plague Doctor and a Vestal. And I'm using a slightly more defensive trinket setup this time. We got Wilbur's flag on the Flagellant and we got Ancestor's coat on the Houndmaster. So let's go then, shall we? And since it's the Warrens, we definitely want medicinal herbs. We probably also want anti-venom. Well, both anti-venom and bandages. And obviously food. Three stacks of food? Sure. Some keys, shovels, and torches. That's probably enough. Alright. Let's go then, shall we? Let's go. So, okay, that doesn't look too bad. Our objective is to complete 100% of room battles. So the only thing we can skip are corridor fights. But it does look like we'll be able to skip quite a few. Like we can skip these three, for example, no problem. We know this room is empty already. Alright. And first load, I'll take that. 1000 gold, not bad at all. That uses holy water and we didn't bring any. Alright. So there's an obstacle here, I guess we'll just remove it. Yeah, not worth going all the way around it. Oh nice, we can get a damage buff. For the Houndmaster. That will stack nicely with dog treats. I think we'll use dog treats early to get more inventory space. Let's see, yeah, okay, we will definitely use dog treats on these guys. Let's see. Oh, monster surprised. Right, that's from Cartographer's Camp. Nice. And extra loot. So, Flagellant. Let's see. What should we kill first? Good question, actually. Probably the Slayer, because he does have a very annoying stun. And if we kill the Slayer, the champion won't be able to charge us. Alright, let's try to kill the Slayer quickly. Ish. And we will definitely use Dog Treats. Now, I can reduce his protection. What's his debuff resist? 60%. So it's guaranteed to land because we got 170% base. Yeah, let's debuff his protection. There. Minus 30%. So that leaves him with 3% protection. Alright. Now we could either hit him with incision or we could give our Houndmaster a damage buff. I think that's going to be better for his next turn. I like that idea. And then what? What about a stun? Well, was there stun resist? A little bit too high. Let's just hit the Swine Slayer with Judgment. Works for me. Yeah, we totally needed that critical hit. <laughs> okay. So, please don't stun us. Okay, yep, he's stunned. Oh well, at least he didn't stun the Houndmaster. That would have been worse. This is perfect. Our Flagellant took the damage from the champion. And now we can heal ourselves while doing damage. I also brought the reclaim skill, but we won't be using that in this specific situation. So bleed the champion. There we go. 9 damage per round, very nice. And now we can use dog treats. That's a lot of extra damage, holy crap. Up to 46 non-critical damage. This is a guaranteed kill as long as we hit. There we go, he's dead. Good start. Now, the champion. And yeah, we should probably kill that heaver in the back. Otherwise, we will get a disease eventually. He doesn't have a lot of health. 
our houndmaster can probably handle that. And it might be a good idea to get rid of the corpse. Then again, the corpse will bleed out on its own. Alright, so let's take advantage of the damage buff and hit the champion. We could debuff the champion, but I want to take advantage of the damage buff. There, 16 damage through 40% protection and more bleed. Looking good. And we'll hit the heaver. I would still like to kill it, obviously. We need 3 more damage. Let's see. Well, another damage buff? I think so. Sure, why not? For the Houndmaster. Plus 142% damage, that's insane. Okay. Resisted, nice. Judgment? Nope, we missed. Oh well, you tried. I'm not going to waste my damage on that pig in the back. Up to 20. Yeah, 40% protection. Alright, let's still do it. There. More bleed. Let's try Plague Grenade here. There. Okay, we killed the pig. Nice. Now, this guy. Unforgiving. Shouldn't take much longer. That's 22 damage from the bleed. He's dead. We can heal ourselves up. Everyone is at full health. And we barely took any stress damage. This was a great fight for us. And a great start. Okay, what should we grab? I mean, we will still need some portraits. And all heirlooms in general. Alright, let's grab those. And time to move on. I think we should camp early to get some buffs and inventory space. That sounds like a good idea. We can camp in the next room. Or maybe in this one. We can do one more fight and then camp here, assuming this room will be empty. No, it will not be. Okay then, we surprised them. Nice. So... What should we start with? Probably Plague Grenade. Yep. There we go, Blight on both. And then... Rain of Sorrows. Yep. We have to kill the Swine Heaver, or Swine Skiver first. Because that thing can do quite a lot of damage. We can do up to 24 non-crit. There, 36 critical, nice. We might be able to kill him right now, even. That's 11 damage from the bleed and from the blight. We just need to hit him with judgment. It's only 47% chance to hit, but we don't need any healing. Everyone is literally at full health. There we go, we killed it. Nice. Yep, it's down. Well, this is going great so far. But let's not jinx it. We still got quite a few rooms to go. And we still have to kill this group right here. Come on. That's too much health to use our power ability. Let's have a look. Can we finish off that swine heaver? Yes, we can with Rain of Sorrows. That should be enough as long as the bleed lands. Yep, that's 12 damage. Nice one. And debuff the Slayer? I think so. Here. No protection for you. And we can use a damage buff on the Houndmaster. He's a damage machine. Okay. Here comes the bleed on the flagellant. He doesn't care. Well, oh, he resisted. Alright. Some healing. Yeah, we totally needed that critical heal. <laughs> so, up to 44 damage. Nice, 65 crit, holy crap. That's just insane. Well, I think I found my Jester combo replacement. This was some sick damage right there. It requires some setup, so it's obviously not as good. 
and he's down. So, should we camp right now or into one more room? Let's camp right now. Alright, and we can grab the emerald. And the gold. Yep, sounds good to me. Prevent night time ambush. And what else can we do? Let's have a look. Plus 50% scouting chance. Plus 20% chance to surprise monsters and minus 20% chance that the party will be surprised. Oh yeah, this skill also prevents nice the ambush. I don't think we need extra scouting. We already scouted a lot of this place. Yeah, I don't think we need that. Remove disease, we don't have any diseases. Okay. Well, these are fairly useless, actually, which is kind of funny. Extra stats for the Houndmaster. Plus 10 accuracy. Alright, fine, we can get that. And what else? There's literally no stress to remove. Plus 3 speed. Fine, we can get that. Okay, done. Let's move on. Sacrificial stone. This was a 50-50 roll, if I remember right. Yep, okay. Plus 50 stress. Fortunately, it doesn't really matter on the flagellant. In fact, it might even benefit us if he hits 100. More loot. I'll take that. Awarded to the brave. Oh, yeah, there's a trap, and I walked right into it. Well, that happens. As the light gains purchase, so, looks like a fairly standard fight, and we surprise them, nice. Let's have a look. Rain of Sorrows. Great, we missed. That was not a very good start, but okay. That is not very good either. Well then, let's try to kill the meat hooker. I don't think we can kill him. Not really, no. We land some bleeds. There, all bleeds landed, so at least we got that going for us. Try a stun. Yep, missed again. That was not a great first round. Let's see if they are going to hit us. Okay, two dodges in a row, nice. That's not so nice, but we'll leave. The Huntmaster actually has plus 25 dodge, because he's using a trinket that gives him plus 15. Was that plus 15? Yep, plus 15. Anyway... Reign of Sorrows again? Yeah, I think so. There, the bleed landed. Okay, one damage. Come on. 20 stress on the flagellant. Another dodge. Can we get to do something already? That would be great. Oh, nice, we resisted the disease. Let's heal up a little. Can we attack already? Finally. So what do we attack? Let's see. Well, we can kill the guy in the back. Let's do that, he can do quite a lot of damage. Now he will bleed out. Next up... One of the pigs, probably. We can stack more bleeds on it. Five damage, yeah, okay, incision. That might kill it. No, it will not. Alright, we tried. That's still above 50% health. Kill that one. We should probably mark the Swine Slayer to reduce his protection. Yeah, might as well do that. 3% protection left. Much better. And how about we give our Houndmaster a damage buff? It stacks really nicely with the damage against marked targets. What's that debuff? Minus 50% healing received. Well, that's not very nice, is it? Let's hit the pig. 
And now it will die. Now it won't. We are one damage off. Really? Now it's dead. But that was highly unfortunate. 34 damage. And he's dead. Nice. We can heal our own bleed. There we go. That was a pretty nice fight right there. What's this? Scouting whistle. I suppose we can always sell it. But we don't really have the inventory space for that. I'll pass. Bone altar. What's that? Oh, a buff, right. Okay, time to move on. Maybe we should check the curious. Oh, we got a secret door. Let's go get the secret door. We do have a key, right? Yes, we do. More loot. Finding the that we can't really carry. Test. But we should now make some space for a stack of gold. I guess we can get rid of the bandages. Fine. A trap. This should be a pretty nice run for gold. With that secret room over there. Alright, what do we start with? Probably Rain of Sorrows. Give them a bleed. There we go. And then... Plague Grenade. Sounds good to me. Here. One resisted, that's fine. And then what? I don't think we can kill either of them, unless we get a crit, which is fairly unlikely. Might as well hit the cutthroat, though. Or the fusilier. The fusilier doesn't have any protection. We are more likely to kill the fusilier. Yeah, no crit. But he will take 5 damage. We need 4 more damage on him. So, get some healing or try to kill one of them. Now, let's heal up a bit. I don't want to hit death's door. Okay, nice. That was pretty good! <laughs> the dodge is helping. Rain of Sorrows again. That might kill the Fusilier. Yes, it will. And we need one more damage on the cutthroat, literally. We are one damage off. Okay. I guess Hans Harry will do. There. Now he's dead. Let's get started on the blood letter. He doesn't have any protection, so he will go down pretty quickly. What's his stun resist? 95%. That won't be happening. 49 health. Okay, we didn't dodge this time around. But we only got one bleed, and we can remove it with the Plague Doctor. Let's just kill him. Alright. He will die on the next turn, easily. Get us up to full health. And we might as well remove that bleed. This is going to be his last attack. Oh, he's using the bleeding attack again. Alright, I guess we'll just deal with it. I don't actually have Suffer active. But that's fine. It's not a lot of damage. We can deal with it. Oh, a rare trinket. Yeah, we should definitely pick that up. We can always sell it, if nothing else. Maybe we should camp right now? How many more rooms do we have? Okay, at least three more. If we camp right now, we will make more inventory space. Or we can destroy anti-venom. I guess that works. More loot. Okay. I'll just let the bleed tick. It's fine, it's not a lot of damage. Oh yeah, there's a battle right here. We can just use that one to heal it. That's a pretty nasty group. A swine skiver, a meat hooker, a slayer, and a thunderer. Alright. Reign of Sorrows. A singular strike. Okay, both bleeds landed. 
And now what? That's a good question. You know what? Let's use a damage buff. And we'll try to do some good damage here. We can do up to 19. Damn it. That was really unlucky. Well, that sucks. We can try to stun the meat hooker. Oh, great. We missed again. That's not good. That's not good at all. Yeah. At least we resisted. But that was a lot of damage right there. That guy is nasty. I think we'll be camping after this fight. Yep. I think so. We'll just go back into the room we came from and then camp. This is not looking great. Yeah, that was a pretty bad start. Rain of Sorrows again. Okay, one bleed landed. The one we cared about, mostly. Nice, that's better. If only we hit that first attack. And that's going to be Death's Door. Yep. We need a good heal. We resisted the stun, at least. We need a group heal, kind of. Yep. Okay, 9 health on the Houndmaster. Not amazing. We dodged Drums of Doom, nice. 18 health on that guy. And that's Death's Victory Door again. Just don't we die on me, thanks. Brinks. You're not allowed to. Great, now he's stunned. Which means he can't clear his own bleed or anyone else's bleed for that matter. Well, I called you reclaim. No, I don't think that's a good idea. That is a pretty bad idea, actually. What should we do? Reign of Sorrows? We could also hit this guy directly to try killing him faster. Let's see, will this kill him? Yes, it will. Okay, nice. So what now? Should we use guard? Yeah, let's guard our guy. And then heal him up. He needs that heal quickly. This will also give us a dodge buff. So that's what? That's a lot of extra dodge. Plus 47 dodge. Okay, good. Nice. Yeah, he has an insane dodge right now. 77 dodge, holy crap. Yeah, that's pretty good, I would say. Here, have a heal. Now, let's kill them, shall we? That sounds like a good idea to me. Here, have a damage buff. That will certainly help. And also extra speed. That's 14 speed. Alright. You know, I think we should replace Reclaim with Suffer after this fight is done. Or with Redeem, although that's only rank 2. Maybe it does make sense to use it right now. You know what, let's use it right now. Here. That gives our guy a heal over time and it gives the Flagellant a bleed. Which means he will be more likely to start his turn under 50% health and use his power move. Now, let's start killing these guys, shall we? Okay, I think that's a kill. It is. Nice. So he prevented that guy from attacking. Incision. Yep. I don't want too much extra stress. A judgment might kill him. No, we are one damage off, damn it. Alright, he will die on the next turn. We can basically ignore the Thunderer now. That wasn't as much extra stress as I thought it might be. Yes, attack my Flagellant, that's perfect. Yep, that is actually perfect. Okay, we might want to remove that debuff, however. Okay. So, use our power move. There we go, plus 19 health. 
and maybe mark the Slayer. There, the debuff landed. This was a pretty nasty fight. I mean, still is, but we are about to finish. It was just the unlucky start. Let's heal up a bit. Are we there yet? Done. Okay then. Let's right see. Looks victory. like we should destroy something. The crests? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I'm pretty sure we'll still need the shovels. Or at least we might need them. We don't know if this room is empty and there might be an obstacle on the way. It's not explored. We might not need 16 torches, however. Yeah, I don't think we need that many. Get rid of the torches and I'll pass on the rest. Let's go back into that room and camp. So, now we can use our abilities better. We'll start from Hound's Watch. And then what? Reduce some stress. From this guy. What else? Plus 10 accuracy. Also reduce stress. That works. We could remove the bleed. Probably a good idea, yeah. Here you go. One last point. We could hit 100 stress if we want to. Eh, I think I'll pass. Yeah, I'll pass. In radiance, may we find so, victory. Where do we go? Let's go this way first. Don't worry, we'll get the secret door. We have to go this way regardless. Not picking that up. Alright, in we go. You know what? I quite like the Ancestor's Coat on the Houndmaster. It synergizes quite well with his guard ability, which gives him even more dodge. He has 45 dodge right now. 30 from armor base, 15 from trinket. And then he can get plus 22 from his guard ability. That's actually kind of insane. I think I'll be using this setup more often. Works quite nicely. I might even grab a second dodge trinket. Although Sunring works quite well on him too. We'll see. Anyway, let's move on. Okay. Some food. Not that we really need it, but thanks. Alright, uh, great. A trap. I was looking at my inventory right there. <laughs> In we go. What is it going to be? Okay. No skiver, so that's fine. Like grenade. One landed, that's okay. Oh no, you don't. Rain of Sorrows. I'd like to kill the Thunderer and the Heaver first. I don't want a disease from that guy. Especially since we can't camp anymore. I do have a camping skill that can remove a disease. Nice, I think that's going to be a kill. Yep, that is a kill. And a little bit of healing, perhaps? Actually, you know what? Let's try Judgment. There. It landed. We just need a little bit of extra damage. Actually, no, we don't. He will die before his next turn. Just the Flesh Eaters. Alright, Flesh Eaters. That one is dead already. Dodged good. We are almost done. Get some healing done. One more attack will do it. Yep, we are done. Goodbye. It's been nice not knowing you. We got two keys, which means we can it's afford to open the chest. Can be felled. They can be yep. What do we have People here? 1500 gold. Well, other what do we get rid of? Good question. 
I guess we'll get rid of the portraits. Alright, sounds good. Back we go. We got at least two more fights. Could be free. We don't know if this room is empty or not. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Well, actually, we got one more fight to do in the corridor. We have to do that one. We can't skip it. There's no way to skip it. But we are in a pretty damn good shape. So, secret door. Right here. So, I'll have to destroy something from my inventory. What would that be? I guess we can destroy the shovels, even if there's an obstacle right here. We will only have to do one more fight after that. We can afford to destroy the shovels. And then what? Crests? Yeah, I think that's fine. Done. Onwards. Oh, a shambler, eh? Alright, I don't think I want to do a shambler with this group. Well, we do have a protection debuff. Obviously not right now, at the end of the run. But I think I'll pass on a shambler this time. Maybe another time. Obliterated. Let's focus on finishing the run. That's also a kill. Okay. Yeah, they are dead. Nice one. Not much healing that we need, but oh well. It's not like we needed anything else in this situation. Yeah, okay. Inventory again. I guess we could destroy medicinal herbs. Well, sure. Or the food. We won't need more than 12 food. Okay, fine. So that's a 50-50. Yep, okay, we'll hit 100. Which is okay on the flagellant. He'll be rapturous now. Alright then. Our old friend. Onwards. We'll check this room. And that might finish the run. If not, we'll know there's one more fight in here. And more loot. This is going to be a really good run for gold. Okay, there's a fight in the corridor first. There it is. Oh, another skiver. Well... Let's see. Reign of Sorrows. So, should we mark him or not? Probably. He does have 15% protection. Let's see what he's going to do first. Okay, that wasn't as much damage as the previous time. And we resisted all his crap. Nice one. One more. Just don't give me any diseases, thanks. We didn't get one. So how about we mark that guy? He only has 15% protection. Now, let's mark him, and we'll give the Houndmaster a damage buff before his next turn. Sounds good. Debuff. Minus 15% disease resist. Okay. If you say so. So, well... Rain of Sorrows to land more bleeds. Oh, now we missed. Great. 19 damage. I can live with that. We resisted the stun. Death 5 critical. But no disease. That's good. Minus 10 dodge. And more debuffs. Okay, this is too many debuffs. Let's see. Hound's Rush. Up to 33. Nice! 49 critical and he's dead. Perfect. Good job. Let's use single target this time. Is this less than 50% health? Yes, it is. Oh, great. That's going to be zero health. Well, alright. Just don't die on me. Come on, you need a heal. 
Yeah, let's get him off this door. I wouldn't want to lose my only flagellant. That would be bad. Kill these guys. There, that's a kill. This is a lot of debuffs, holy crap. Fortunately, they will be gone soon. But we still have medicinal herbs, we can always use those. Let's see. Kill that pig. Not quite enough. We are free damage off. Yep, let's just finish it off. It didn't land a disease, so I don't want to give it a chance to. 134 stress. That is a lot of stress. I don't like that too much. Well... What are you doing? Yeah, that was him doing it, not me. Alright. Fine. I can work with that. That's a kill. I think we should still use medicinal herbs. Well, most of these will be gone. Before the next engagement. Or at least they should be. Oh, nice, we can get a damage buff. For the Houndmaster. That should be plus 30%. Awesome. And let's go in. The way is lit. This could be the last fight. There's a pretty good chance that it is. So, you first. Only valid target for our power move. Like grenade. They do have 145% blight resist. Probably not worth it. We'll use incision. And... Hound's Rush? I guess so, yeah. It's already down to 28. 21. Yep, one more turn will do it. In fact, one more attack should do it. It will take, what, 11 damage from the bleed. Okay. Oh, actually, we can just ignore it now. It will die before it gets a chance to attack again. That debuff is nasty. Minus 70% damage, okay. I'm not leaving that on. That's for sure. Not much point using that skill right now. We might as well use Rain of Sorrows instead. It didn't leave a corpse, good. Let's finish this. And maybe go home. We'll find out soon enough. Okay, good. Are we done yet? We are. Let's heal ourselves in case this is not the last fight. So, are we done or is there one more fight? Okay, we did get That's even more gold. Mount. I'll so take that, thanks. We are done. Don't leave yet, we still got a chest to pick up. We got... okay, more crap. A sapphire. Let's see, destroy the food, we won't need that. I'm not sure if this is going to be worth more than 500. Let's get the onyx. And that's it, we are done. How much gold is that? A lot, 15,000 from the quest itself. And we got the Ancestor's Pen, that's a really nice trinket. Okay, 26,000, almost 27, very nice. Great run. Quite happy with it. Vertigo, I guess we should remove that. Yep. Back to town. And we'll check the stagecoach first. Any evidence Laundry day, alright. Gambling stairs. hall costs minus 50%, bar costs minus 50%. Let's check the stagecoach. No one level 3 available, alright. That's disappointing. First, remove vertigo. Any more diseases? Nope. Actually, yes. Rabies. Well, we don't really have to care about that one, do we? Then again, we might as well remove it. 
fine, we'll remove it. And some stress reduction. How much stress is this? 31. I guess we should remove that. Okay, sure. Yeah, let's reduce stress. We have enough level 6 people. It's fine. Alright, looks good. What's infestation level at? Medium. Hopefully it will hit high soon. Because I'd like to get an invitation for the courtyard. However, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.